Hello, welcome to my channel. Another bibliophile reads. My name is Greg, and I am going to be co-hosting an event in February. Holmes is where the heart is. And this is an idea that spun out from last year's Dr. November event. We are reading Sherlock Holmes stories. So this event is created and hosted by Jim at Mystery and Mayhem, Randy, the literate Texas, Texan, and Mark at Book Time for Elvis, and of course, me. So in the month of February, we're going to have four weeks and prompts for people to follow, if you choose. And the prompts are just how to read in some Sherlock Holmes works. The first week is The Long Canon. Read at least one Sherlock Holmes novels. He has four. He has The Study in Scarlet, The Sign of Four, The Hound of the Baskervilles, and The Valley of Fear. Week two is The Short Canon. Read at least one Holmes short story or short story collection. It is your choice on how you do that. Week number three is pastiche. Read at least one Sherlock Holmes pastiche or parody. Now, I'm not all that familiar with pastiches or parodies, but I'm going to be getting into this. And week four is Legacy. Read at least a work which you believe to be inspired by Holmes. This one is a little more difficult because the idea is not just to read any old detective story. It should be a detective story that the author is somewhat influenced by the character of Holmes. It's a little difficult for me because, you know, it's not quite where I go with my mysteries, but I'm getting there. So, what books am I going to be reading? Well, I will be reading from my complete works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the Delphi edition on Kindle. It is rather inexpensive. You can pick it up for like $2.99. So for the long canon, I have to make a decision. In 2022, for I believe um, March Mystery Madness, I read the, the Study in Scarlet and the Hound of the Baskervilles. Since I read those two within, you know, a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to either have to pick The Sign of the Four or The Valley of Fear. I think I'm going to go for the, the Sign of the Four. That's just my, my, my gut feeling right now. For the short canon, I have not quite decided yet. Do I want to read an entire collection of Home stories. There are four of them. I can't remember their titles off the top of my head. Or do I just want to read a few select short stories? I'm probably going to go for the select short stories. Um, pick out one or maybe two from each collection, which are his best. For pastiche, Jim has very kindly offered to send me one of his duplicates of a pastiche novel. He offered me an option of two. I said both were fine. And he's just going to send me one. I don't, I don't know which, which pastiche novel I'm going to get in the mail yet. But whatever it is, it's going to be just fine. Legacy is the, the, the prompt that's giving me a little bit of difficulty. Um, the name of Nero Wolf has been mentioned a number of times. That is a character that is um, heavily influenced by Holmes. But also Jim mentioned that Ellery Queen is also a good choice. And I have this Ellery Queen mystery, the player on the other side. Now, what's really interesting about this particular Ellery Queen mystery is it was not written by Ellery Queen. It was written by Robert Silverberg, um, writing under the Ellery Queen name. So that's a, that's a strong possibility of um, legacy for me. Or I might find something else. Now, for people who are new to Holmes, um, you can pick up many different copies in paperback. Um, there is a two-volume mass market paperback, which um, a couple of people have shown on their announcements. They're very good. You can also, as I said, pick up 
the Kindle version um, re relatively inexpensively. If you want free versions of Sherlock Holmes, I am going to highly recommend going to standardebooks.org. I will list them down below in the description. They have all the Sherlock Holmes stories available completely for free. And um, Standard Ebooks actually does a very good job editing and formatting their ebooks. I have some really rather old Sherlock Holmes ebooks back in the day when Amazon didn't have a Kindle. And um, the, the formatting in those old editions is really rather rough. You will see that when words were supposed to be italicized, the editors capitalized the words because um, just the technology you were using plain text documents and italics didn't exist. So you do have to watch out when you seek out free editions of Sherlock Holmes to make sure that the, the company um, publishing them or creating them uses the more, more modern texts. And um, Standard eBooks does that. I will list a link below to all the Standard eBooks Holmes editions. Now, one of the fascinating things that I found this morning when I was preparing this um, video to get that link is that they have a pastiche novel in the public domain completely for free. And I had never heard of it before today. It is called Arsene Lupin versus Herlock Sholmes. And it was written by Maurice Labeck. Of course, you can tell that the H and the S of Sherlock Holmes have been transposed to avoid a copyright violations. And um, let me read you the description. It sounds like a fun little book. Arsene Lupin takes on his most fearsome opponent yet in this second, second collection of his licentious adventures, more a loving homage than a straight copy. Herlock Sholmes changed just enough to avoid fallout from a copyright claim by Conan Doyle and his companion, Wilson, are summoned to France initially to throw light on the case of the blonde lady. Having encountered Arsene Lupin before, Sholmes is only too happy to get a chance of revenge. This collection of two stories were originally serialized in the magazines Je suis Trot from 1906 to 1907 and were translated into English in 1910 after an earlier story with an unauthorized Sherlock Holmes. Maurice Lebec was forced to rename his antagonist for these stories. So maybe check that one out too. I hope everyone gets involved in Holmes for the holidays because Sherlock Holmes is a really fun read, no matter how you do it. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.